welcome you all to the knowledge apex this is your magesh here i hope you all are fine okay so today we'll see a job notification by drdo that is a defense research and development organization for the recruitment of scientist engineer b to fill the backlog vacancies exclusively for obc sc st candidates through gate 2015 16 and 17 score so this notification is open for aeronautical csc electronics mechanical instrumentation civil and naval engineering branches so as usual check the description i have given the links for all these stuffs like detailed notification online registration and other important things so let's move to the main content so first we'll see the post detail that is scientist engineer b the number of posts is 23 posts so this is a classification break up of the post that is aeronautical it is 1 computer science 7 electronics it is 5 mechanical it is 6 instrumentation 1 civil 1 and naval engineering 2 so next age uh, for obc it is 31 years and for sc it is sc st it is 33 years see again i am saying this post is exclusive for ob obc sc st candidates only so general candidates please do not apply for this and uh, relaxation applicable as per the government of india rules and norms and the scale of pay is uh, they will be initially placed in the level 10 of the pay matrix of rupees 56100 uh, and uh, the to- total emoluments at the time of joining will be approximately 72000 per month next education qualification you need is a first class bachelor's degrees in the relevant uh, engineering branch that is uh, your uh, i have mentioned it right the seven engineering branches with at least 60 percentage of the marks obtained in the qualifying examination and also candidates in their final year final semester who had appeared for the gate 2017 and qualified can, are also eligible to apply for this in addition gate score card in their respective discipline is mandatory so this is a must and uh, then small note see for naval engineering branch there is no need of gate score so they will be using the percentage of the qualifying marks as a criteria to shortlist the candidates so there is a no gate score for them so application mode is a completely online process and uh, the selection process comprises of these three things that is through gate 2015 16 17 score next by personal interview and third by medical test and final appointment again for naval engineering initial screening will be done as i said you based on the percentage of marks obtained in the qualifying examination so not by the gate score so next uh, the gate score initial screening uh, it means uh, initial screening will be conducted based on the gate score to shortlist the candidate for the interview it will be in the ratio 1 is to 5 it means uh it means suppose it is 10 post means uh, the candidate will be called for interview will be into 5 that is 50 candidates so it depends according to the different discipline wise category wise merit list and interview will be held for the shortlisted candidates based on the gate score and their qualifying marks and qualifying marks for the naval engineering So interview venue is at Delhi, Bangalore, Hyderabad, and Pune. If any other place, they will be notifying to the candidates. Next, uh, this is a weightage of the selection process. That is, uh, 80% weightage will be given to the gate score, and uh, 20% weightage will be given to the person interview. For consideration for selection, a candidate has to secure minimum 60% of marks. Uh, in the interview for all the categories or obc sc st for naval engineering branches a final selection will be based on their uh, personal interview marks only so it will be purely on the base of marks merit of marks in the personal interview so the training all the selected candidates uh, will be given a post induction training for a particular period and after they will be appointed on the regular basis so the place of posting is uh, posting is all over the india so where the drd offices are located in india so the interview dates means uh, for all the discipline except naval engineering it will be in the month of july and for naval engineering branch it will be in the month of september 
Next, uh, the application fee only OBC candidate has to pay the application fee of rupees hundred through online mode, and uh, CST women candidates are exempted from the payment of application fee. So there is no application fee for them. And the application fee is to be paid online only via online mode using your net banking, debit, ATM card, or credit card before the last date. So here is some general instructions. Uh, see the knowledge of German, French, Russian, or Japanese, Chinese language will be a desirable qualification. And uh, the candidate while applying online should also upload the soft copies. It means you have to upload the scanned copies in the PDF format in a lighter file size. In support of your age means your 10 certificate, your qualification means your graduation, 12th standard mark sheet certificates and your community certificate if you belongs to OBC, SCST, whatever. So you have to do it. And uh, the valid scorecard is also essential, must uh, in the relevant, uh, sorry, respective discipline except naval engineering is mandatory to apply for this course. And uh, as this you know, candidate working government PSU should submit NOC at the time of interview. So the deadlines, uh, the last day to apply online and for the online application fee payment uh, is 19th of May 2017. So that's it. In add on notification section, I have added two similar job openings like this. So have a look at this. The first one is by Mesgon Dock Shipbuilders Limited. The post name is Senior Engineer Mechanical. Number of post is 26 post. So the recruitment through Gate 116 and 17 score. So maximum age limit is 30 years as on the cutoff date that is uh, 11th of May 2017. Relaxation applicable to the reserve category and deck service man candidates. The pay scale is even grade pay scale in the pay band of Rs. 16,400 to 40,500. The cost to companies will be around 7.8 lakhs per annum. And education qualifications are full time degree in engineering and mechanical with minimum first class or 60 percentage of marks. So, for this post, one year post qualification experience is required in the relevant field. And the selection process comprises of gate score and followed by personal interview and final selection. And general OBC candidate has to pay a non repayable application fee of Rs. 340 and SCST candidate and PWD candidates are exempted from the payment of application fees. So this is an important point. Last date to apply is 11th of May 2017. Next uh, is uh, notification by Concon Railway Corporation Limited. The post name is Senior Section Engineer. The vacancy is 34 post. So this is a breakup of vacancies electrical 20 for mechanical 2 signal and telecom it is 5 and for civil it is 7 and uh, selection will be made through gate score in respect to discipline and the uh, maximum age limit is 35 years as on the cutoff date 1st of july 2017 so age elastication applicable for reserve category students and the pay scale uh, is rupees 9300 to 34800 with a grade pay of 4600 and uh, the education qualification is a uh, full time bachelor's degree in the engineering and technology uh, with 60 percentage of marks it means your first class right and in the respective discipline that is electrical mechanical electronics csc it civil engineering branches for signal and telecom electrical Electronics, Civil, C, sorry, CSE, IT departments are eligible. And application fee is uh, rupees 200 for general OBC and no fee for SCST candidates. So last day to apply and send the uh, receipt of the applications to the office is 22nd of May 2017. So we came to the end now. If you have any doubts or queries regarding this video, please place your valuable comments at the comment section. So. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and share. And also don't forget to subscribe our channel as I bring 3 to 4 videos every week regarding the technical job openings for the engineering graduates. So until then, see you all. Take care. Have a good day.